What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news. And before I jump into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Now, this video is dedicated to all of the release date changes that recently took place. And I mean, there's a lot. Some of these pairs are only a few days. There's a couple that are months. And then a handful that have been postponed and could debut in 2025. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go in order of the new release date. So whatever they were scheduled to release initially, scrap that. We're going to go in order from the soonest to the latest of new dates. Also, there's two shoes in the video that have been moved forward, but all of the others have been delayed. And now, without wasting too much more of your time, let's get into these new release dates. The release date for the Air Jordan 3 Georgia Peach was pushed up. Now... They were originally scheduled to debut on April 27th, but now they will debut on April 23rd. At least that's what's showing on the sneakers app. I have noticed that other release calendars do have them set for the 27th. So there's a possibility that they could be locked in for the 27th or they may get an email from Nike saying, hey, we're going to move these forward. So get on board with the new release date. Now, this is a women's exclusive release, and like I mentioned, the new release date is April 23rd. The retail price in women's sizing is $200. It'll cost $100 in preschool sizes and $85 in toddler sizes. The second shoe to have a release date moved forward, we already know about this pair, but I wanted to include it for the sake of this video, and that is the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. They will now debut on May 4th, and the retail price will be $215. Also, they will be available in full family sizing, and this is a big GR, so I know the resale prices are pretty high right now. If I were you, I would just wait until the release date. It's not too far away, and if you miss out after they drop, I still think the resale price is going to come down a lot more. You'll probably be able to get them even about retail, maybe a little bit above that. At least I'm hoping for that. Now, going forward, all of the shoes featured, the release date has been delayed. So the first pair is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Shadow. Now I know a lot of people are anticipating this release and they were originally scheduled to debut on May 4th. Now the release date change for this pair actually makes sense since the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue will now debut on May 4th. They're not going to drop two solid pairs on the same day. Usually they don't. It's happened but not too often. But the new release date is May 11th. And the retail price will be 140 The release of the Air Jordan 11 Low Space Jam has kind of been all over the place. Now, they were initially expected to debut in April, but then they were delayed until May. I believe a release was going to take place in early May, but then they were delayed until May 11th. But now they've been delayed once again, and the new release date is May 18th. The retail price is 190 Also, they will be available in full family sizing. So we have grade school priced at 150 preschool at 90 and toddler sizes at 70 In the comment section of previous videos, whenever I showcased the Air Jordan 12 Red Taxi, they received mixed opinions. Some people like them, some people hate them. It's kind of 50-50, but I think what a lot of people agree on is that Jordan brand needs to just bring out the Air Jordan 12 Taxi, the OG. Stop giving us gimmick pairs like this. Now, I'm not taking away from the pair when I say that statement because I still think it's solid. It's just that it's been a while since we've seen the Taxi release and those do need to return in my opinion. But this is another pair that has a release date change. The original release date was set for May 18th, but now they're going to debut on May 25th. Also, they will be available in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at 200, grade school will cost 160, preschool is 100, and toddler sizes will cost 85. So far, only one pair in June received a new release date, and that pair is the Air Jordan 4 Oxidized Green. Now, this is a pair that I like a lot and another pair that people seem to be 50 50 on according to the comment section when I last talked about the shoe now that could change in the future but if it stays the same right now then this pair should be an easy pickup now so far this is the biggest release date change so originally they were scheduled to debut on June 15th but now they're going to debut on July 13th so almost a month later 
and the retail price is 210 Also, this pair will be available in grade school, preschool, and toddler sizes. Not too long ago, we saw a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Barons, and although they look different than I had hoped, it's not a bad colorway. Now, if you're a fan of the shoe, then you were anticipating the July 13th release date, but unfortunately, this pair will no longer debut on that day. But like I previously talked about, the Air Jordan 4 Oxidized Green will take its place. Now, the new release date for the Barron's Air Jordan 1 Low OG is July 20th. So not a huge release date change. And the retail price will be $140. Jordan Brand is releasing another pair of shoes for their Wings program. This time it's going to be the Air Jordan 3. Now, photos of this shoe have yet to leak at the time of recording. However, I do know the colorway, the retail price the original release date, and now the new release date. So the shoes will feature a white, fire red, off-white, vintage green, and rose color combination. Now, originally, they were scheduled to debut on July 1st, but now they're going to release on July 30th. The retail price will be 210 So I'm not going to do a mock-up for these shoes just because I have no idea what they're going to look like. I may just throw a silhouette of the Air Jordan 3 on screen with the Wings program logo. I'm not entirely sure yet, so just giving you guys a heads up. The last shoe scheduled to release in July is the Air Jordan 6 Olympic. Now, I just talked about the shoe in my previous video. We received a first look, but they do have a new release date. Also, some new images popped up, so I'm going to include that here, as well as the first set of photos. Now, the original release date was scheduled for July 20th, but now they're going to debut on August 3rd. The retail price will be 200 Also, this pair will be available in full family sizing, so we have grade school at 160 preschool at 100 and toddler sizes will cost 85 Only one pair in August had a release date change, at least so far, and that is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Metallic Gold. Now, these are actually being called Gold Medal, and it's a tribute to the 2024 Olympic Games. So this pair was originally scheduled to debut on August 3rd, and now the new release date is August 10th. And unfortunately, at the time of recording, we only have these sets of photos. Nothing new has came out just yet, but hopefully we get a detailed look soon. Now we're going to jump ahead here quite a bit, and we have a handful of releases for October that the date has been moved around. Now the first one is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Howard University. For those that don't know, this is a collaboration between the HBCU and Jordan brand. And to my knowledge, this is the first HBCU collaboration that will actually release at retailers. Now, just a heads up, the image used is a Photoshop. However, the pair will look very close to the PE that was made in 2023 for the Howard University women's basketball team. Now, I believe some of the shading might be slightly different when it comes to the midsole. But other than that, you can expect the pair to look pretty much on point to this. Now, the official colorway is white, gym red, midnight navy, neutral gray, cell, and muslin. And the reason I'm just giving you that information compared to other releases is we haven't talked about the shoe in a long time because really there hasn't been an update. Until now, of course. But the original release date was set for October 9th, and now they're going to debut on October 12th. So only a couple days later... And as of now, the retail price is 140 but I wouldn't be surprised if it was bumped up to 150 or even 160 Not long ago, I announced that the Air Jordan 9 Olive would be returning during holiday 2024. Shortly after that, there was another update, which included a release date. And I did a holiday 2024 Air Jordan release dates guide where I announced that release date in that video. Now, there is a new release date. So initially, this pair was scheduled to debut on October 25th, but now the new release date is November 16th. I haven't received word yet if this shoe will be available in full family sizing. I'm pretty sure they'll be available in at least men's and grade school sizes. More than likely, it will be full family, but the retail price for men's is 210 
A couple weeks ago, I went over the Air Jordan 5 in white and black, and the reason I talked about them again was that we received a new mock-up which is an accurate representation of what's releasing. And after posting it, it seemed like a lot of you were also excited about the shoes. You guys were fans of the colorway, and so am I. Now, some are also calling this pair reverse metallic, and that is due to the fact that the shoes resemble that of the white metallic Air Jordan 5. I definitely can see it, and that's probably why I like them. I've always been a big fan of the Air Jordan 5 white metallic. On a side note, I talked about in my last video the Nike Jam, which is a breakdancing shoe, and I mentioned that I used to breakdance in high school, and I recently found a photo of me trying to do head spins with a helmet on wearing the Air Jordan 5 white metallic from the early 2000s. But that's a side point. Let's get back to the shoes. And they were originally scheduled to debut on September 28th. And this pair actually so far has the biggest release date change. The new release date is December 7th. I'm not sure why the delay. And in my opinion, it's probably not the best time to release a mostly white shoe. I know where I'm at in December, it rains a lot, and I'm sure you guys as well, and probably snow. So this is a pair I do plan on picking up. It's just gonna have to sit in the box for a while until the weather gets better. So we have the new release date. This pair will also debut in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at 200, grade school at 150, preschool at 90, and taller sizes will cost 75. Although I'm not a big fan of the nickname of the shoe, it is kind of fitting. And that is the Air Jordan 12 Blueberry. So we received confirmation on the color blocking. So although this is a mock-up, this is what they're going to look like. And since we have the Cherry 12, the Blueberry nickname for this shoe is, I guess, kind of fitting. But this is a pair that also has been delayed. Originally scheduled to debut on October 19th. They're now going to release on December 18th. So almost a two-month delay. And this pair will be available in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at 210, grade school at 150, preschool at 90, and toddler sizes at 75. Now I don't get the $10 price increase. I guess I kind of get it on the Cherry 12s. It was an OG colorway. And since Jordan Brand knows people are going to want it, they're going to add that $10 since it's an OG. But this isn't an OG colorway. Yes, it has cherry like blocking but so does many other shoes that cost 200 that's just my mini rant i still plan on picking them up let me know your thoughts on this pair down below now going forward we have six releases and some reports are stating that these have been scrapped however i wouldn't go as far as saying that because there's a possibility these could now be part of the spring 2025 collection now of the six releases one of them we didn't have a release date for. All we knew is that they were going to come in holiday 2024. And unfortunately, they've been postponed until who knows when. But I might have an update by next week on all six pairs. So just to let you guys know, the order I'm going to go in, I'm going to start off with the pair that didn't have a release date but a time frame. And then going forward, I'm going to go in order from the original release date. So the first pair is the Air Jordan 3 Brown Cement. Now, the image used is a mock-up. We don't know how it's actually going to look, but the color description is Baroque Brown, Cement Gray, Black, and Cell. Now, I did mention in the previous video, we have a lot of Air Jordan 3s releasing, and it's a mixture between collaborations and then GR, and of course, we have the Black Cement, which a lot of people are looking forward to. So, this pair could release in 2025, but for now, it looks like it's off the plate as for Holiday 2024. Part of Jordan Brand's Holiday 2024 collection, we had another Air Jordan 1 Low 85 dropping. This pair is known as Mocha. Now, although this is a mock-up, this is an accurate representation of what's releasing. At least it was. Now, unfortunately, this shoe has been postponed. I'm not going to say scrapped anymore because... We don't know for sure, and I don't want to put that out there because there is a possibility that they drop sometime in 2025. Now, if you like the model, there is a black patent pair that is coming. And just to go over a little bit of info, the shoes come dressed in a white and dark mocha color combination, and the retail price would be, if they do drop, 160 You can also add the Air Jordan 6 Fire Red to the list of releases that have been postponed. Now... What's shown is a mock-up, but it's an accurate representation of what was going to release. 
and the pair initially was scheduled to debut on October 12th. Now, these are nice. I know a lot of people liked what was coming, and unfortunately, a lot of people on Instagram and other blogs, they gave out a false representation of what was releasing. They basically took the infrared color blocking but changed the shade of red, which we knew wasn't going to happen. But for this pair, as soon as I have an update, I'll make sure to let you guys know. And if they do drop, let's hope they do, the shoes will be available in full family sizing. So we have adults at 200, grade school will cost 150, preschool at 90, and toddler sizes will cost 75. When I shared this pair originally, it seems like there was a few people interested, but not a whole lot. And this is the Air Jordan 1 High OG, all of. Now, the initial release date was scheduled for November 16th, but again, another pair that has been postponed and more than likely won't release during the holiday 2024 season. And what is shown is a mock-up, but this is how they're supposed to look. At least, if they do drop, expect this color blocking. And the colorway is medium olive black and summit white. If it does drop, they will be available in men's sizing for 180 and grade school sizes for 140. Now, I know this one is going to hurt a lot of people, including myself, because a lot of us have been waiting for a first look. And it's the Air Jordan 5 Black Cat. Now, just a heads up, the image used is a mock-up. And what I was told from my sources is that the shoe will not look like this. Now, recently, you guys might have seen on Instagram or other places online, there was a photo going around claiming to be the first look at the Air Jordan 5 Black Cat. And basically, it featured the same color blocking everything as the mock-up. And unfortunately, that isn't a first look. The original image that it came from, the individual dibbles and dabbles in fakes. Typically, they get the shoes early, which in this case, they are fake. Just wanted to clarify that the first look wasn't actually a first look. But for this pair, they were originally scheduled to debut on December 7th. And again, this is a pair that has been postponed. Now, I'm kind of hoping that the delay of this pair, that Jordan Brand saw the reception that this mock-up received done by myself and Z Sneakerhead Z, and maybe they're going to redo it so we actually get something like this. I know that's wishful thinking, but you never know. It is a possibility. Now, I'm pretty sure in the future these will still release just because the amount of attention they received, even as a mock-up. So if and when they do drop, they will be available in full family sizing. We have men's priced at 210, grade school at 160, preschool at 100, and toddler sizes at 85. The last pair to talk about is the Air Jordan 13 Chutney. Another shoe originally part of Jordan Brand's Holiday 2024 collection has now been postponed. Like the others, there's a strong possibility that this will still release, but in spring 2025. And the image shown is a mock-up, but it's an accurate one of what's releasing. Inspired by the Chutney Air Jordan 13 Low, the difference here is that the 2024 or possibly 2025 release, instead of using Nubuck, it'll come with Reflective 3M Mesh. Originally scheduled to debut on December 28th, unfortunately, we don't have a new release date hopefully 2025, and the retail price would be 200. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. As well, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Speaking of new videos, I'll have a new one in a couple days. Until then, I'm gonna drop shorts, Really trying to get into the shorts algorithm. It's been kind of hard. But I've seen a lot of you guys that usually comment on the longer form videos comment on the shorts. So I really appreciate that. Also, as a heads up, next week I should have some more 2025 info. So like always, be on the lookout for that. Let me know down below what you liked or disliked. Or if you have any questions, let me know down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, Make sure to subscribe.